Number one is Known Lover, written by Mark de Smyter, in the distinguishing pacemaking sash. Number two, Regency, written by Pat Eddery. Number three, Fort Wood, Walter Swinburne. Number four, Hunting Hawk, wearing the distinguishing sash, Terry Jeanne rides. Number five, Balalato, written by Frankie de Tori. Six, Sin Kiang, written by Eric Legree. Seven, Shandon Lake, Christy Roach for Ireland. Number eight, Dernier Empereur, written by Sylvain Guillot. Nine, Hernando, written by Couch Asmussen. Ten, Newton's Lord, John Reed. And completing the lineup, number 11, Freezing Bird, written by Freddie Head. So the last one walking forward for the French Derby. Under orders, and they're away, and uh, through the first furlong, as expected, it's Known Lover that comes through to uh, lead the parade. Known Lover, just the leader, with uh, Regency holding a good position through on the inside. Uh, Fort Wood is prominent. Newton's Law is taking quite a keen hold on the extreme right of the group. Uh, Shandon Lake, three or four lengths off the pace. But it's a uh, Known Lover doing the job that uh, he was putting the race to do. He's the pacemaker, clear by two. To Regency in second, Newton's Law third. Hernando on the inside of Fort Wood. Then comes Hunting Hawk. Uh, close up. The early trailer is Dernier en Pereur and they've gone through the first furlong and a half and it's Known Lover leading. Known Lover by a couple of lengths to Regency under Pat Hedery in second. Newton's Law holds a good position third. A length behind that one is Shandon Lake four. Then Hernando the inside of Fort Wooden Hunting Hawk who raced mid-division followed by uh, Badalato. On the outside of Badalato is Freezing Bird. And the back marker is still Dernier on Pereur at the end of the first quarter mile. And this sees Known Lover going three or four lengths clear. That's the main pack we're looking at now, headed by Regency. That's his second horse within third place Newton's Law and the red colour Shandon Lake. Running the rail is Hernando on the outside with a sash hunting hawk. And then Fort Wood taking closer order. Badalado behind that, then comes Freezing Bird. And they're ignoring the pacemaker who's coming back to the field. Only clear by three now. But Regency heads the main group from Newton's Law in second. Second, then Shandon Lake in third, followed by Hernando in four. On the outside, Hunting Hawk five, Battle Art of the Rail six. Pushed along is Fort Wood in seventh place on this very firm ground, and they're well past the halfway stage. And known love of the pacemaker, clear by four again. Two Regency in second, Newton's Law swinging along in third. Then comes Shandon Lake in four on the rails. Is Hernando as they start to turn in. And inside the last half mile, still one of the back markers is Sien Kang, and Dernier Rompereur is towards the rear, but they're heading for home now. And no Lover out on his legs, Regency the pink cap on the outside, Hernando is cruising off the pace, Newton's Law is ridden along the grey battle, tries to come with a run, a Freezing Bird is pulled wide for a late run and also trying to get there as uh, Regency takes up the running with a furlong and a half to go, it's Fort Wood but they're inside the final furlong now and here comes Hernando, the white cap to take Regency, Newton's Law the outside, Dernier on Pereur finds racing room and starts to fly but it's Hernando clear by two as he race up towards the line, Hernando is going to take it Hernando from Dernier on Pereur, Hunting Hawk replaced Newton's Law 4, Regency only 5, then came Badalado in 6, followed by Freezing Bird and Sin Kiang, who never got competitive. Shandon Lake uh, beat, a f uh, beat 2, and uh, one of those was a pacemaker known lover. Last of the main group was Fort Wood, and so the result then of this, the Prix du Jockey Club Lancia, it's gone to the improving horse number 9, which is Hernando in the colours of Stavros Niarchos. This one uh, trained by Francois Boutin, who won the race with Caracalero, ridden quite superbly by Cash Asmussen. He certainly did follow in the footsteps of uh, Suave Dancer because Hernando, relatively inexperienced, this was only his fifth race, but he's won four of them. He stepped up in distance, but he's answered it in style. To be clear of Dernier Empereur in second place and coming through into third, Hunting Hawk. 17th favourite in the last 39 runnings to win it after Cash Asmus and odds on Suave Dancer two years ago. Bering and Mukta in the 80s along with Ireland's pair Kaelin in a cert. Pace 2 to 1. 3 francs, 2 to 1 against Hernando the favourite. Pace is 1 franc 50. Dernier Emperor, 3 francs 50. And Hunting Hawk, who saw Sadler's Wells, was beaten by Darsha nine years ago. 1 franc 50 for the place. The forecast, 32 francs 50.